efforts to get help because there was definitely something. He wasn't the wrong person. How was he acting? What made you think that there was something wrong with him? Um, has he ever hugged you and grabbed your ass? No. No. Yeah. So that 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 kind of behavior is not a Rob but Ford was behavior. Was that it? Was there any other symptoms that made you think that there was something wrong with him? Inviting me down to his place in Florida because his wife wasn't there is not the Rob Ford behavior. So yeah. The and baby. there were a lot of other people that came up to me and said, "Have you seen Ford?" So he here? was totally normal so, except for the, the words coming out of his mouth. Yeah, and the way well, he was very very jovial, which I've seen Rob be jovial before. But the words he was saying didn't make a lot of sense. And so in your mind, that was, the, that was the behavior of someone on some kind of substance? Yeah, well, on something. I don't know. Or maybe he was having a, a, a breakdown. I have no idea. So no, when you think about it, I can't really... Do you choose to put the pictures on Facebook last night? Why Facebook to start talking about this issue? I, I, I'm a big believer in Facebook. I think you need to get... Um, Facebook's just changed the, the entire environment of how we, we uh, democracy works. And I think when you get it out there, you get the reaction from people, and you, you get to say, you know, this is what happened, what would you do, kind of thing. And I got a, a lot of feedback, I haven't seen it today, but apparently I've got a lot, and it's a matter of getting the, the issue talked about for me. Sarah, you're quoted on radio saying you think he maybe has a substance abuse problem? Yeah, that was very early this morning. I have no idea, and I shouldn't have said it. Um, I have no idea what was wrong with him, um, but I think he needs to get help. Um, and then I asked him why he hadn't been to our mayor's roundtable event. It was a discussion event we had the mayor's event. And he said, I was in Florida. You should have been there. My wife wasn't there. And I went, this is not our rock. Like, I can't believe he said that to, to me. And then so they said, take a picture. And we swung around and took a picture and he grabbed my axe. And I was shocked, as you would be if he had done it you know, to you. So then I kind of, all the people moved in. I, I backed out, out of the, the way and saw the first person I, I know that's a conservative went up to him. Um, and I said, he just grabbed my ass, and he's acting very, very strange. I'd get him out of here if I were him. And he said, okay, I'll go talk to someone. And then he went, went off. And I told a number of people about that and said, you know, this is not, Rob's a gentleman. He's always very professional. He always has been with me. And so his treatment of me last night was completely out of character. So he's never made any sexual advances? Never, or never before. So that's why the shock. <laughs> so, what did your husband say? He's mad. <laughs> he, said, he couldn't believe it because, you know, he knows Rob and, and he's been to events where Rob's been there and it's just completely inappropriate. And he said it's so inappropriate. And then he rolled his eyes and said, but it's our mayor. We're hearing that the mayor's making a statement at some point this afternoon. What do you want to hear from him? Just an apology would be, yeah. I think we've approached the issue. I think people are talking about the issue. Um, it's hard for a woman to come out and, and say what happened. Nobody will believe her. And he may capitalize on that and say, oh, it never, never happened. Or he can do the right thing and say, okay, I don't know what happened last night. I don't even know whether he remembers what happened last night, but I, I would hope that he would apologize for it. His chief of staff said that they're speaking with legal counsel right now about this. If I have to go to court, I will. I mean, it's the right thing to do. You have to stand up when, when something like that happens to you. And I, I hope women, other women that hear this will do that if it's happening to them. So